So in this part of the video, what we'll do here is we'll show you how to start a remote support session in the Viper 4. There's two ways to do this. The first way is if you're outside of a job, you can press on the Administrator tab, go to System Manager, then from there we'll go to our Slingshot tab, and down here on the middle of the page there's a Request Support button. When you press that, you'll need to accept the liability and once you do that, you're going to get a five-digit service code that shows above the support button. You need to give that five-digit code to the person on the other end of the phone so they can gain access to your Viper 4 monitor. So from our Slingshot portal page, we can go over to Manage and just hover over it, and then we can go down to Remote Support. From that point, we can click on that, and you will be asked for a service code. This service code will be offered up to you by whoever is in the cab, and that number will be what you can type in here once they relay that on to you. Once you put in that service code, we can then click Go. So now we are into the remote session, and we can actually click on anything that is actually going on in the monitor at that time. So we can go over and back out of this and go into any of the different things that we might want to select um, to help assist this person who's out in the cab. So once we have access to the monitor, we can help point our grower or operator in the right direction to make sure that we keep them moving. The other way to do that is if you are inside of a job, so once you're in a job, you can press the slingshot icon, press and hold, the screen will pop up, Again, you'll see the request support button on the bottom here. When you press that, again, you'll accept the liability. You'll get your five-digit service code that you'll give to the person on the other end of the line, and they can gain access to the Viper 4 monitor that way as well.